Thanks, Ed. A lot of your kids and grandkids wrapped up this week's schoolwork on computers, but believe it or not, that's not something a lot of kids around the country are not doing. THV 11's Roly Hoyt says the leaders who made that possible here in Arkansas, they want to celebrate. Yeah, Marlisa, this is something Arkansas is leading the country in. We got there first, and it's a positive for a change. And the head of the effort to run broadband to every school in Arkansas says he's telling our story in state houses across the country. So Arkansas is uh, a, sh a shining star. You are one of the leaders. That's coming from the head of a San Francisco-based nonprofit. The titans of big tech are applauding Arkansas. We recognize the urgent need to get high-speed uh, broadband internet to our schools in Arkansas. And that's been achieved. Evan Marwell of Education Superhighway worked with Governor Asa Hutchison to make it happen. It required money from the federal government and a state-level network. And they say we now have something special. Uh, Arkansas is the first state in the country to reach the uh, FCC's, the Federal Communication Commission's, goal of having one megabit per student of Internet access available in every classroom. It's more than just fast videos on a smart board. It's about testing and coding. Well, you can't go to online testing if you don't have the right speed. If you're coding, you've got to have not just one student uh, on the computer, but 30 students uh, on the computer. There is still a challenge in a state like Arkansas. You have that access in the classroom, but then they go home and out of their rural uh, home and might not have that same speed. But Marwell says the schoolwork can be expanded. You've essentially now got an, an anchor point in every county and every community in Arkansas that is getting high-speed broadband. We have to rejoice in those success stories, and, uh, and this is one of those. Now, earlier this month, the governor set up the Arkansas State Broadband Office. It offers $25 million in grant money to get every city with at least 500 people in it high-speed access.